Welcome to High Blows How To Video Number Three. Today we're going to talk about continuity. Continuity is the ability for voltage to pass from one point to another point uh, within the circuit uh, and then back out to um, the line. Um, continuity is important because if something is uh, broken, one of the three mechanical connections inside the pump, you're not your pump's not going to work. Uh, simple concept is safety switch tripped, continuity's broke. Now I got to go figure out why. In this video, that's what we're going to show you um, using some tools uh, other than our eyes. And the only tools really needed, nut driver or screwdriver to take out the nuts. You can go either way, uh, your, your personal preference. The other thing we're going to need is a multi-ohm meter, uh, either you know, a more expensive model or even a $6.50 model from Harbor Freight. It all will do what it needs to do. The only thing it's got to be able to do is measure ohms. And if you look at the face, that is the little horseshoe type guy or the Omega, and then you're good to go. The biggest thing I have to stress at this point is you want to remove power from the pump. Um, continuity or the test we're going to do does not require power. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, and in this exercise, is we're going to unplug the pump. It doesn't matter if it's a plug. It doesn't matter if it's hardwired. You either need to kill the power at the breaker, break the circuit at the connections. Um, do not remove the lid without removing power. With that said, I'm just going to take my 8 millimeter and just finish taking out these screws. We're going to take off the lid and remove the sound absorber because it doesn't do us any good. All right. So now that we've verified that the power has been removed and um, it's safe to be inside of here, what we're going to do now is we're just going to quick do a quick visual. Was my safety switch tripped? In this case, the answer is no. In a minute, we'll trip it to show you what lack of continuity is. Continuity is as simple as checking the, the inlet. Yep, the inlet to the outlet. Um, as you can hear, uh, this meter uh, has an audible tone, so I don't have to look at the screen um, to know that I have continuity. If I didn't have continuity, and I will just trip this real quick to show you now I know I've got to dig a little deeper into the circuitry. First place I like to go to is right to the safety switch. The reason why I go to the safety switch is because over time this loses its elasticity and may not um, retain that ball all the way in to close the contacts. So we're just going to take a, a measurement across the, the switch. It's working. Uh, again, if the switch was depressed but not full connection, it would kind of sound like that. Um, or it would sound like that. Another thing that we may find is I don't have continuity across my prongs, but yet I have continuity across my switch. What does that mean? Well, it means that one of these spade terminals may be broken up inside the plastic, but connected um, visually because you know you can't see the connection itself. So if that was the case, maybe I can trip it, maybe I can't. It would look something like that. So I would not have my, my uh, continuity across the two prongs, like I said, is the simplest way to get it. So what I can do is now I can um, measure uh, across my transformers and try to figure out where my open is. And in this case, we're going to find that it's in the black wire and we're going to go investigate at that point and we're going to give it a little tug and we're going to find out, oh, it's not connected. We're going to go ahead and connect that good and tight. And then while we're here, let's just do a quick check of all our solder joints across the coils, maybe. Um, uh, and and verify that you know just the the soldering is good. 
We're at the point now where we can just put the lid and the sound absorber back on it. Oh, but wait, yours may not have the same safety switch. Yours may have this safety switch, which is the copper electrode of pre-2016. At which point you would just measure from here to here. And if you get continuity there, then you're good to go. The caveat to that is, is over time, this joint uh, or this bend will create a joint uh, and have a crack in it. And if that crack uh, does appear, this could make contact when the pump is cool, but then once it warms up, that crack could separate as things expand and your pump could, could quit working. So these are, are simple to replace. It's just two screws and, and you can have this one back up and running. At the same point, sometimes we don't get the screw all the way in and the nut tight enough, you don't create continuity across the joint. So ours don't have that problem and ours checks out at this point. We're just gonna go ahead, button it up, put it back in service, hope it lasts another five to 10 years and move on to our next service call or on to our next DIY project at home. Um, and we know that our electromagnets are good to go and that our safety switches are robust. And that is how to check continuity in a high blow pump.